Welcome in, this is Andre with eTrueHub.com uh, Today I want to show off a little script that I made uh, I use it for extracting data, uh, specifically MTG Arena IDs from cards in the uh, MTGA client uh, So what this does is it uh, uses um, MTGA's data files uh, and uh, I made this little HTML file uh, coupled with a little bit of JavaScript to browse cards in the MTGA files. So I'm just going to show you quickly how it works. You can input a card name or you can input an arena ID or you can input a set here and you can click these buttons or you can click enter if you want to do that. So I've looked up treasure hunt. Uh, and it will also show the raw data from the files. So I only use two files. Uh, it's the localization file where, where all the languages and translations are for the name and it's the card file where all the other data is like uh, the artist and the ID mappings. Uh, so the GRP or group ID is, is the one called arena ID, the arena ID. The reason I made this tool is because so we use Scryfall for eTrohub to for our card data, but there's a lot of Arena IDs missing and uh, it seems like some of the IDs might be wrong too. So I made this little tool so I could check directly from the source, which is MTGA. I did find some, some sites that had extracted the data and compiled it in JSON files, but they seemed outdated as well. So I just went about making my own tool and it was uh, quite easy. So if I do a set name uh, search here, uh, it will show all the cards of the set specified uh, together with all the arena IDs. Uh, it is sorted by a number. <clears throat> so this is a, ve a very simple script. I, I haven't included any jQuery or anything like it. It's just uh, pure JavaScript. As you can see down here, I also include the uh, raw data. So. We're just gonna do a little quick walkthrough with how this works. Uh, so let's see if I so oh, if I search for something like an island, it will show all the islands in the game. Uh, as you can see, uh, none of these are craftable; they are all uh, included, uh, but they are collectible. And these are the set numbers for each set. So. It should be like in Battle for Sendikar, that set is not in Arena, but it's still the correct number corresponding to the set. So the thing with the Arena IDs is that our database doesn't have all the Arena IDs. You don't need that to make a deck list importer or exporter. You only need the set name and the card names. So we haven't bothered with the Arena IDs. Uh, right now we're working on a cool little project which utilizes arena data and um, in the logs they don't refer to cards with the names uh, but they refer to them with the IDs. So, so we need to sync our card IDs to the arena IDs so that's why I'm going through the whole database now and making this work. I also found it annoying that there wasn't a tool for this and it's something that's very easy to make so this is very easy. So let's have a look on how this works. So in the folder with this um, HTML file, there's only this one file uh, and um, these two files are just copies uh, of files from the uh, MTGA database. Uh, so we can find this under, if you go into MTGA and MTGA data and downloads and then the folder named data. This is the folder where MTJ will download all its uh, card assets. And there's all, also other things here. Uh, there's another file containing abilities. And this is just, it seems like mappings for zones and stuff. So I'm not, I haven't really dived deep into how MTJ works yet, uh, but th these are the files I was looking for which contains card data. There is one named data underscore lock for a localization. So this is all the languages. Uh, and these are, uh, this is all the card data. Uh, and you can see that here. So what I show in the raw data is the localization. And then you have the uh, card data like this. The first thing you have to do is uh, you have to copy these over to the same folder, which I've done here. And you also need to rename them. Uh, so the the MTGA ending has to go away and you change that to uh, .js. And I also shortened the name. 
So this is uh, seems like a hash they use to identify if you have the, the latest update. In my uh, HTML file, I refer to these two names. So you have to rename them. <clears throat> you have to rename them specifically uh, to these names. And you put a .js a JavaScript file as the file name and not mtga. Uh, so let's take a look on the contents of uh, these two files. So right now I'm looking at the location file. As you can see, this is uh, this is just an object, like an array with a lot of objects, uh, also known as a JSON file. Uh, so it's nothing more advanced than that. And you have an you have an object for each language, which then contains uh, all the. Uh, the assets of the game. So this is not only card names, it's also text descriptions, uh, ability stuff, uh, like there's a crap load of IDs. So this ID is called, I think it's title ID on the uh, cards um, JSON object. Uh, let's see if we can find it. Uh, there it is. Title ID 2929. So that will we can, you can find it in here. Okay, so 2929 is Crash of Rhinos. Uh, so there's one thing you have to do before this is readable as a JavaScript file, and that is to just convert this um, JSON object into a variable. So the way I do this is if I take a look at my HTML file, I have included the two files here. So all I've done really is put those files into a um, variable uh, that I've called uh, cards and lock. So putting the JSON object into a variable is very easy. You just write var for variable, and then you put lock, which is uh, what we use for the lock file, and equals. So all we have to do now is go to the end of the file and just put a semicolon. There we go. And it will be inside this variable called lock. Uh, the same in the data.cards. As you can see, I put var cards equals and then the array and a semicolon at the end of the file. So this is by far the easiest way to read the data. Uh, the reason why you can't just include this in a JSON object uh, is that there are something called cores. Uh, it's a cross-site web browsing function in new browsers that prevents you from, um, from including files. So the only way to, to work around that is to put, set up a web server and uh, yeah, do it the correct way with an HTML request. Uh, so I didn't want to bother with that. I just wanted the easy way and uh, Since this is just uh, Like it's so much work for nothing. All I want is to browse these two files and combine the data in them So the rest of the JavaScript is it's very simple. I wrote a function to write an output and uh, I don't use jQuery uh, just use uh, vanilla JavaScript there's a could be like there's a lot of optimizations that could be done here, but I think like this way is very simple and uh, it's very easy to follow. If you want to edit the output, you do that here. So you don't even need these buttons. All these buttons are are referrals to the uh, function, the card search function. Uh, I also put in a script that detects if you press enter, which trigger the inputs. So that's why I use so the buttons are really unnecessary, but they don't cause me to to add any extra JavaScript. So I just keep them there for the looks. And there's no CSS, no extra styling. Pretty simple. All I want is to find the arena IDs and check them uh, in our database. Uh, as I said, Scryfall are missing a lot of data. They have like the the base sets, like they have uh, Eldrain. Uh, but other sets like Battle for Sendaker Lands or all those fringe cards, uh, they do not have. So that's why I wrote this. 
So hopefully uh, this might be useful for you if you're looking to build uh, some kind of database or just need to check something quick and don't want to bother. And the good, the good thing with this is also that you use the MTJ data. You don't rely on some old data someone has uh, put up a long time ago, uh, which I found. Um, with this you can just copy the files you need directly from the game and into into this folder and you can do that with each new set when a new set comes out you just copy the cards and a localization file again and you browse that instead of the old one and that's it so i hope you found this useful and you have use for this in your own project um, MTGA recently had an update like one week ago where they changed the whole structure. I, I did not look at the structure before, so I don't know how it looked before. Uh, but this is, uh, I will keep this script up to date if they ever change it again. Uh, because I need, uh, I need a tool each set to look at IDs and a fresh IDs. And as far as I can see, this is the simplest way. And it's, it's very easy to update. Oh, by the way, if you want to change language, um, you can just change uh, this parameter here. Uh, I use zero, which is English. 